Apple employee was detained by U.S. border agents over his iPhone, laptop. When Apple Andreas Gal returns from an international trip, he said he's usually on his way home within minutes. But when he arrived at San Francisco International Airport last November, he was detained for an hour by three armed U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP agents, who demanded access to his N laptop, he said. They. The Border Patrol agents asked about Gal's work at his former employer, Mozilla U the company which makes the Firefox Internet Browser U as well as his current work at Apple and his business trip to Sweden, Gal said. They. Apple declined to comment for this story. That. The agents threatened to criminally charge Gal under accusations that he was in violation of U.S. Code 111, he said. That section of Gal's detention and alleged threats by the CBP agents, resulted in a filed on March 28 by the American Civil Liberties Union Foundation ACLU of Northern California against the United States. The complaint alleged in the 10 years prior to becoming a citizen, Gal said he made about 100 international trips, all without incident. Stay. Hi. As Gal was leaving, the CBP agents confiscated his global entry card and revoked his status. Global entry is on his next return from Europe, Gal noticed the code SSSS on his boarding pass, indicating a secondary security screening. Prior to the November, a spokesperson from CBP told ABC News in an email that they could not comment on Gal's situation as it is currently under investigation. However, the CBP spokesperson also said that travelers who do not provide the items requested by their agents may result in the detention and slash or seizure of the electronic device. Between 2016 and 2017, CBP had a 59% jump in the number of searches of electronic devices, according to the agency's data. Approximately One of the reasons Gal said he filed the complaint was to find out why he was flagged for detention. Why? Gal charged that his stop by CBP agents may be because of his work at Mozilla and the company's views on opposing the government's warrantless mass surveillance. In The ACLU complaint states that such searches may unlawfully curb the behavior of citizens like Gallen. Furthermore, Gal said the experience invoked a fear of traveling. It Gal had also alerted his congresswoman, Jackie Spear, about the incident. Spear contacted if